this is Artifacts of Mars. I'm going to go over briefly Obama's State of the Union address. Uh, and I'm going to show a couple of Democrats invited CAIR officials. If you don't know who they are. Council for the American Islamic Relations. They are a known terrorist front group. A couple of Democrats invited a couple of uh, CAIR officials uh, to the State of the Union. So you know where their uh, loyalties lie. At any rate, we'll go over the speech a little bit and I'm not going to go over everything that Obama said, just some selective stuff. Um, America has been through some big changes before, wars and depressions, influx of immigrants, workers fighting for fair deals, movements to expand civil rights, each time there's been those who told us to fear the future, who claim that we could slam, slam the brakes on change, promising to restore past glory if we just got some group or idea of threatening America under control. He's uh, talking about Trump. And each time we overcame those fears, we did not, in the words of Lincoln, adhere to the dogmas of the quiet past. Instead, we thought anew and acted anew. Well, this is a man who doesn't know anything about history. At any rate, American history. What was then true then can be true now. A unique strength as a nation, our optimism, work ethic, our spirit of discovery and innovation, our diversity and commitment to the rule of law, these things give us everything we need to ensure prosperity and security for generations to come. It is, in fact, the, the spirit that made the progress of these past seven years possible. It is how we recovered from the worst economic crisis in generations. That is bullshit. That's a whopper. There hasn't been any recovery that anyone can see. That is BS. It is how we reformed our health care system. That's serious BS. That is incredible bullshit. And reinvented our energy sector, meaning he's closing uh, coal plants. How that is incredible bullshit. We deliver more health care and benefits to our troops and veterans and how we secure freedom in every state to marry the person we love, meaning every freak is all you can marry and every freak is all you know. All right, uh, so it goes on, let's see if there's anything other interesting things that, I'm going to go down to this, anyone claiming America's economy is in decline is peddling fiction. No, Mr. Obama, you're peddling, peddling fiction in decline. That is bullshit. He's in seriously bad shape. What is true, and the reason that a lot of Americans feel anxious, is that the economy has been changing in profound ways. Changes that started long before the Great Recession hit and haven't let up. Today, technology doesn't just replace jobs on the assembly line, but any job where work can be automated. Comparisons, companies in the global economy can locate anyway, anywhere and face tougher competition. As a result, workers have less rever leverage for a raise. Companies have less loyalty to their communities. And more and more wealth and income is concentrated at the very top. Standard liberal rhetoric. He's right about some things. The uh, technology is 
uh, taking away jobs. Uh, then you know, those Taldas goes on to tell this program programs. I'm not gonna go all through all of it because I don't have time. But I want to get to the uh, he tells for the unaffordable care act, which has been a disaster. Uh, this guy doesn't understand a thing about this country. I don't think he wrote this. And these people usually don't. They had some speech writer writing it. <clears throat> now, one thing I would agree with him on if this was possible. He says, but we can do so much more. Last year, Pro Vice President Biden said that with a new moonshot, America can cure cancer. Last month, he worked with the Congress to give scientists at the National Institutes of Health strongest resources they've had in over a decade. Tonight, I'm announcing a new a national effort to get it done because it's gone to the mat for all of us. On so many issues over the past 40 years, I'm putting Joe in charge of mission control. Well, good luck. That's one thing that nobody can argue with. Yeah, we all love to see a cure for cancer. Is there anybody out there who wouldn't? Goes on and on. Now I want to take a look at the uh, CAI, CAIR stuff. Most of this is just. Uh, normal rhetoric, he says our uh, military is the strongest on earth, which is BS. He's been scuttling the military. Let's go to the CIA, CAIR stuff. That's what I'm really interested in here. Not what uh, Obama says. Two officials from the Council on American Islamic Relations will be attending State of the Union address Tuesday as guests of Democratic lawmakers. Representatives Zoe Lofgren, California, and Elsie Hastings, Florida, will be represent hosting representatives from CAIR chapters in their respected states, the group announced Monday. Now, you have to understand what CAIR is. They're essentially a terrorist front group. They're a front group for Islamic terrorism. They support terrorism. That's what they do. And Obama uh, of course welcomed them along with uh, these two uh, treasonous Democrats, Zoe Lufgrim and Elsie Hastings. This is very bad news. I mean, how is it that a terrorist front group can get a spot at our uh, uh, State of the Union address and then Obama turns around and says, well, Give us your guns, we'll make you safe. Uh, this is... Uh, this was supported, all, by the way, by Democratic National Committee Chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Well, I'm not objecting to Muslims in particular attending it. I'm objecting to CARE because they're known as an unindicted co-conspirator in Islamic terrorism. I wouldn't care if there's some Muslims there, if they're decent Muslims, but uh, C-I-R, A-I-R, CARE, yeah, I object to that. 
they're actually pretty well known. Well, this thing's going bonkers, so I'm going to cut this short. Point here is, these people uh, don't care about your safety. I've told you before, you're going to have to defend yourselves to be ready to defend yourselves. You're going to have to be ready to fight. Be like the Minutemen. Be ready to fight at a minute's notice because you might have to. I'm Artifacts Mars. I was seriously infuriated by this. I'm still infuriated. Uh, thanks for watching. Liberalism is a mental disorder.